Hi, I thought it would be fun to show you guys these owl watercolor frosts and just talk a little bit about um, this process and my thoughts on it. So this is a commission I've been requested of a an owl. Um, they didn't specify what kind of owl, but they did, did say it's for a room uh, that has like blue furniture, so if it could be blues. And then um, they said more of a Prussian blue or more on the um, darker blue side. So, yep, and I've decided to work with one of my classics, um, one of my classic combination, which is ultramarine blue and burnt sienna um, or burnt umber. I love the combination of blues and browns. I also think they look quite cool um, because by mixing those two colors, you can get beautiful, beautiful grays. Um, I didn't stick only to those two colors, but they were the predominant ones. So um, as far as the process goes, I've just started by doing quite a few hand-drawn sketches on my sketchbook then you've probably seen on my TikTok channel um, quite a few um, gouache processes and watercolor processes of smaller sketches. And once I was confident enough, I started to work on the main painting, which is this one. It takes me about a week or so of practicing before I get on with the final project. And um, this process took me about four hours from beginning to end. I'm not counting the times I had to wait for the layers to dry in between because there have been quite a few layers. And I do work with water when I work with watercolor, I tend to use to work with quite a lot of it. Um, so the drawing process takes quite a while but i think it's worth the while and i like that about water i feel like if i wanted to work with uh, less content of water i would just stick to gouache or to acrylics but i do like the flow of water and the fact that you can't really control it and um, i was quite happy with it now, um, these first layers, I was working more on the owl than on the background. But then I felt like the background is a bit too clean. Therefore, I decided to change it from an easel to a flat board to my table, just to say it <laughs> directly. And, um... Of course, what I got with that is less control of where the water was going, but it was quite fun. Um, I know there's this stigma of not working on the details in watercolor until you're very done, but that's not my way of working. I just go with the flow sometimes. I um, start working with the details. And then I go back to washing those details off a little bit. And I feel like that gives it even more of a watercolor effect. Um, things I'm struggling with. I'm still struggling with um, bird legs in general. So that's probably where I have to focus more. However, uh, normally whenever I work with owls, and with birds in general, I tend to concentrate more on the head, the beak, the eyes, the wings, rather than yeah, the bird legs. So, yep. Um, as far as materials, I'm working on Archie's watercolor paper. I think this is the satin one, hot press, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's the biggest size I can get in a book, which is 60 centimeters by 45. 
um, I don't remember exactly in inches. As far as watercolor is concerned, I've used the Schmincke watercolor because I want it to last as long as possible. And I know that this painting is going to be um, exposed to some type of a light. I hope it's not direct sunlight, but just in case I wanted to make sure that the colors will last the passive time. So, uh, yeah. I've used Schmincke because those are the ones I trust me. I hope you guys liked this process and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Bye.